There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. I'm sure most of you have heard of ammonia before. Ammonia is often directly used in detergents. So they act as cleaning agents, which we usually have in our kitchen, to, or to clean bathrooms, etc. So ammonia is, is a quite common base. It's a basic substance. And this is the Lewis dot structure of ammonia. It has a nitrogen, and to that nitrogen we have three hydrogen attached. So the formula is NH3. It's often used directly as a detergent, but it also has different roles. And that other role is it acts as a feedstock for lots of different types of substances. Right? I'll explain what a feedstock is, but basically a feedstock means that we have products, uh, sorry, we have reactants. We have reactants, and those will go in different types of products. And ammonia is often, in many cases, somewhere within these reactants and they help produce very useful products, which we'll go over in a second. And the reason why I'm mentioning all this is because the dot point itself says identify and describe the industrial use of ammonia. Right, so one general use, which I just mentioned here, was the detergent. Now, this is usually not industrial. It's often used in home environments or generally to clean stuff, but there are other industrial uses, which we'll go over now. So for example, Cyanide. A cyanide, you might have sort of in you. Did I misspell that? Cyanide. No, I spelled that right. S did I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> cyanide, the actual formula is HCN. This is cyanide. Now you might think, how is ammonia involved when it comes to cyanide production? There's no NH3 in cyanide itself. Well, if you look at this, is the actual equation to make cyanide, and we have CH4, which is methane. You don't need to remember this equation, by the way. I'm just showing you how ammonia plays its role. We've got methane and another product being ammonia and obviously oxygen. These three react together to form water and, importantly, cyanide. Right, so this is what I mean by feedstock. We have ammonia, which is here as part of this feedstock. It just means it's part of the reactant that helps produce useful chemicals, in this case cyanide. Okay, cyanide, you might sort of have cyanide in your memory when it comes to a poison, which is very true. Cyanide is a poison, which we can often use even to kill ourselves if we wanted to. It's, it's in the capsule form. But obviously, if it comes to describe and identify the use in terms of the industrial use of ammonia, poison or using poison to kill ourselves wouldn't be an industrial use. This is not what the industry is making it for. But the reason why we do make cyanide in terms of the industry is because cyanide can be used to harvest gold. So here this is a, for example, this is just generally there's ore here, right? Ore is just a bunch of different types of rocks. And within that ore will be something which is worth something. It's, it's a mineral which is worth something. In this case, there would be gold in, inside this ore. But there's also lots of stuff which we don't want. But if you mix this ore with cyanide, so if you put cyanide into this ore, what happens is gold leaches out. So then gold is by itself and we can collect it. We can collect gold that way. Right, so that's how cyanide is used in the industry. It's used to harvest gold because if you mix ore and cyanide, we get gold by itself. And that's one industrial use. And I've just identified it. So I said cyanide is, is used um, because it's a feedstock for ammonia and it's used to harvest gold. So I've identified it and I've described it as well, how it works. The next one is the fertilizer. So we've got ammonium nitrate and ammonium sulfate. Again, this part of both of these chemicals comes from ammonia. That's where the feedstock comes into play. But these obviously are the products, useful products. But both of these are called something called fertilizer. Fertilizers. Now, fertilizers have to do with something with fertility, making soil more fertile. So what happens, you see here a tractor, and it's got something in the back. And something in the back is that fertilizer. It's either often ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate. Again, you don't need to remember these chemical formulas, just, and you don't even need to remember ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate. All you need to remember is that we can use ammonia to make these different fertilizers. And these fertilizers will be put into the soil, 
and those fertilizers will help the plants grow because they have nitrogen in it from the ammonia and that nitrogen will make it grow faster. Right, so fertilizers are used by industry, especially by from agriculture, farming, etc., to make plants grow faster. There's another use, a industrial use of ammonia to make fertilizers. Another one is to make something called nitric acid. Now this is we've heard of nitric acid before. It can also combine to eventually form nitrous acid. The nitric acid, which is this here in the container, is also used for industrial purposes. Now you can see there's something on here which is that flammable sign, so nitric acid itself is actually flammable, which is why we can actually use nitric acid to make, for example, explosives. And more specifically, TNT. So TNT, which is an explosive, is made from nitric acid. And we use ammonia as a feedstock, so before we can make nitric acid, we've got ammonia, and we react with some other substances and make nitric acid out of that. So these explosives, how do they get used by industry? Well, for example, they might get used to blow up. So here we've got this place here where we have, you know, lots of different sort of, the, the mountain itself has been exploded more or less, you know, parts of it have been destroyed. That can be done by different things, but often it can also be done by explosives. So we use, in mining, we use explosives. So the mining industry would often use explosives, for example. This is one of the industrial uses of nitric acid. We also have these sulfamides. Now here, this is the actual structure of the sulfamides. And this part here is a part that would have, would have come from ammonia. Right? So ammonia was again, was a feedstock. So it was one of the reactants to produce these sulfamides. You don't need to remember this chemical formula. All you need to know is that ammonia can make these sulfamides. And then you need to know what sulfamides are actually used for. These are good medication. More specifically, they're medication or drugs used to make antibiotics, and these are the ones which kill bacteria. So these sulfamides are used as antibiotics, and antibiotics are used to kill bacteria. So we use it in the medical industry. So you should get yeah, no ammonia is a feedstock to make sulfamides. Sulfamides are used as antibiotics in the medical industry. And a couple other uses, they're also used as refrigerants to keep our refrigerators cool. They use as plastics. Different types of plastics are made from ammonia as a feedstock, and also fibers. So, for example, nylon was made with the help of ammonia as a feedstock. Right. So these are some of the quite most important ones that you should know. Um, and for dot point itself, it says identify and describe the use, the industrial use of ammonia. So industrially, it gets used as a fertilizer. It itself isn't a fertilizer. Ammonia is not a fertilizer, but it's a feedstock to make these fertilizers. And same thing with cyanide. It helps to make cyanide. Cyanide gets used to um, extract gold from ore. It also gets used to make nitric acid, and nitric acid is used as an explosive, which, for example, is used by the mining industry to make to get to ore. We also have the ammonia being used as a feedstock to make sulfoamides, which is this part. So this whole part is a sulfoamide, but more specifically, this part here is the part which, that is made from ammonia. And the sulfoamides are medication, more specifically antibiotics, so they used, get used by the medical industry. And we have these other three uses which I mentioned as well. So they often are used as refrigerants, plastics or fibers such as nylon. These were just some, there's a few more, but I mean, this is already plenty. And also just know that they also get used as detergents, often not, not in terms of industrial use, but general home use. But yeah, hopefully that was useful. So it's just in terms of why it is important, you should know that ammonia itself is a really useful substance and you'll figure out why I'm saying this when it comes to the next couple of videos. Ammonia is very useful. Thank you for watching.